Good morning, kingdom blessings and greetings. This is Kevin Bailey in the great city of Indianapolis, Indiana. As you are coming on, in Jesus, if, as you are coming on, <clears throat> uh, please like and share the video. I'm with Touch of the Master Healing Ministries International. Real quick, before we start the broadcast, I want to share about my book. Uh, it probably looks backwards. Uh, I haven't figured out how to put this down. Uh, turn this around. Amen. But this is available at touchofthemasterhmi.org. Amen. It's available. Signed copies available and also on Amazon. Also, it's available in Spanish. For those who have uh, Spanish friends or brothers and sisters in Christ, we thought about you as well. Amen. So it's available at touchofthemasterhmi.org. Signed copies are, and if you would like a copy at Amazon, uh, you could go to Amazon, uh, Target, Walmart, or Barnes and Noble, Nobles for a copy. All right. All right. Let me give it a few minutes for you to come in, for some of you to come in. Let me give it a few minutes. Amen. Thank you for those who are joining, uh, the broadcast on today. Amen. Amen. Let me just give it a few minutes. Uh, for some to come in. Amen. We must endure. Amen. We must endure as a palm tree. Happy Palm Sunday uh, to everyone. Amen. And I'm going to explain the significance of Palm Sunday. And welcome to all of my YouTubers and all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. All right. And as you are coming in, please like and share the video on YouTube and all the other outlets. Again, this is Kevin Bailey and I'm with Touch of the Master Healing Ministries International. All right. So uh, again, come on in and you must arise. You must arise and you must endure as a palm tree. We're going to talk about the palm tree, but we're going to talk about what it means uh, how it's connected to Jesus. Amen. Let me pray. Father, thank you, Lord, for these, your precious people. I speak strength and grace over them and peace over them in Jesus' name. And I ask you to bring revelation and insight and understanding in Jesus' name. And we thank you. We love you and bless you and praise you for it now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right. God bless you, Sister Michelle. As I go into this, I may miss greeting you, but greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Greetings to all of you. All right. We're going to dive right in here. If you have your Bibles, go with me uh, to the book. Uh, God bless you, Sister Denise. God bless you, Sister uh, Lynn uh, Casas, it looks like. God bless you all. Amen. Um, if you have your Bibles, go with me uh, to the book of Matthew, the Gospels, Matthew 21, A Apostle John. God bless you, brother. God bless you. Amen. Thanks for joining. Go with me to the book of uh, Matthew 21. And again, happy Palm Sunday to all of you. Uh, we're going to talk about what led up to the victory concerning Jesus. We're going to talk about Jesus, but I'm going to teach about the palm tree and give you a prophetic picture of how the believer should be. Amen. So share this as you are coming on. And even those at YouTube and all other outlets, please share this, like it, subscribe as you are coming on. Amen. All right, Matthew chapter 21 and uh, verse, uh, let's start at uh, verse uh, five. And it says here in Matthew chapter 21, uh, tell the daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming to you, lowly and sitting on a donkey, a colt, the fall of a donkey. So the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. They brought the donkey and the coat and laid their clothes on them and set him on them. And a very great multitude spread their clothes on the road and others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then the multitudes who went before those who followed cried out, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. And when he had come into Jerusalem and all the city was moved saying, who is this? So the multitude said, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. Amen. 
Amen. Let's go to the book of John. Let's go to the book of John chapter 12. John chapter 12. Let me read this in John's account. Amen. In John chapter 12. And let's look at uh, uh, verse 12. Somebody say the triumphant entry. Say the triumphant entry. Amen. It says in John chapter 12 in verse 12, it says the next day, a great multitude that had come to the feast when they had heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him and cried out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Then Jesus, uh, when he had found a young donkey, sat on it. And as it is written, fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's coat. His disciples did not understand these things. At first, I'm reading verse 16, but when Jesus was glorified, they remembered that these things were written about him and that they would have done these things to him. Amen. Amen. So let's talk about this. Let's go into this. Amen. And I'm going to give you a few other scriptures. I want you to read uh, later, let me pull my notes out of here. Read these scriptures, uh, lady. Later, uh, the book of Songs of Solomon, uh, seven and verse seven. Songs of Solomon, chapter seven, verse seven, and Mark, chapter eleven, one through eleven, and Luke nineteen, twenty eight through forty four. Read those uh, stories; it'll bless you. Amen. So the coming of uh, the celebration of the Messiah coming in Jesus Christ, okay, who is the Son of God coming, uh, certainly wasn't. I don't think he was carrying uh, a Easter bunny, a Easter basket, or uh, buying dying eggs, or or anything prior to his entry. Are y'all there? I know some some are going to get mad because we're buying those outfits for Easter. We only go to church uh, uh, once a year. We're buying those outfits for Resurrection Day. It ain't even Easter. It's Resurrection Day. I ain't going to even go there. That's a whole nother teaching. But I'm going to share with you just arise, arise as a palm tree. Stand strong as a palm tree. Amen. But there's a triumphant entry that I want to make clear to you. When Jesus uh, rode in, this symbolized um, the victory of the faithful one and the faithfulness over the enemies of your soul. So we must celebrate uh, the triumphant entry of Jesus today in Jerusalem. Amen. And in our particular, whatever state we in, we must celebrate uh, Jesus. Amen. Uh, and the, the fruit bearing tree, which is the palm tree. So happy Palm Sunday to all of you. Amen. All right. So I want y'all to look at this and I want to talk about the palm tree. And I want you to look at this as a picture of the believer in Jesus Christ. Now, if you are not a believer in Jesus Christ, nothing I say to you today will benefit you. Amen. So come on to Jesus. Come on to Jesus. What excuses do you have for, for being without Jesus? Amen. Come on to Jesus. Come and enjoy those benefits of the power of the death, burial, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ. Amen. That power that raised Jesus from the dead. Amen. Is shall give life to your mortal body. Amen. That same power. Amen. The resurrection did occur. It did happen. That power of the resurrection, it means to bring, revive things. God wants to revive things in your life. He wants to restore things in your life, amen? But you must arise as a palm tree, amen? And as some users in Psalm 92 and 12 saying that, hey, that they say, they say, well, well, God bless you, you should flourish. Yes, that is true. But listen, I want you to picture that palm tree. And some of us need to find our rightful place or where we are to worship. Some of us are caught up in a name, a person, and, and you know, just addicted to many a times to doing idolatry. And you have to break free from it today. Get in your proper place so you can flourish. If, if it's dry, dead, cold, stale, uh, the same word that uh, you tired of chewing is hurting your jaws to chew. You probably need to spit it out. There's no power. There's no deliverance. There's no healing. Listen, this is Palm Sunday, the power of that resurrection. Jesus' triumphant entry is what we ought to be celebrating 
today. Amen. And listen, I want to share with you the reason why he came in on the donkey. Jesus came in on the donkey because it sim the donkey symbolizes the uh, uh, him, Jesus, being meek and lonely because kings only came in that were wanting to battle and war on horses. But Jesus arrived in peace. According to Zechariah 9 and 9, he comes to you today in peace. And what he has desired is that no man perish. Amen. And every man comes to know him in the partnering of their sins. He desires that none perish. Amen. Come on to Jesus today. I know we're not having a, a, a come to Jesus moment, but some that, that don't know Jesus need to come on to Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go. So we're going to talk about that palm tree and those stages of the believer and being as a palm tree. Those branches, you the, the branches of those palm trees, this is why we celebrate Palm, uh, palm Sunday, uh, symbolize uh, victory, faithfulness, triumph of victory, victory of a king. Our king is who? Jesus. Amen. Thank God that we have been engrafted in those that know Jesus in the pardon of their sins. Amen. Celebrate the King today. Celebrate the welcoming of Jesus into your hearts. Amen. And following him today. Amen. All right, let's go. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it and let's be about it today. So I want to talk about the the symbolism associated with the palm tree. Listen to me closely, and I want you to look at it as a believer. These are your instructions as a believer and the palm tree. I want you to look at it parallel to that, that palm tree, all right? Remember, you must celebrate being delivered from the enemy of your soul, amen? Celebrate it, amen. All right, let's go. So the palm is a fruit bearing tree. And so I have to ask you today, where is your fruit? Where's the fruit of your ministry? Where's the fruit of your life? You a believer, then act like it. Amen. Where is the fruit at? Where is the fruit of the business? Where is the fruit of the ministry? Where is the fruit of your life through character? Are y'all there? Y'all stay with me. So the palm tree is a fruit bearing tree. It's remarkably nutritious. Amen. For uh, the Bible, uh, I looked at this research and it says the date, which is what one of the fruits that uh, the palm tree grows, the dates uh, and also coconuts, but it grows acai berries um, as well uh, within that uh, tree. It's good for so many things. Uh, and I will get to that in just a second. Amen. But the date is highly nutritious. Amen. So listen, the palm represents the righteous bringing himself, amen, uh, as an offering to God and humanity gaining goodness from God in his house. Yeah, where he blesses, we should flourish. And, and I'm not saying it's just connected to brick and mortar or a building. You must build your relationship with, the, with Christ. Amen. So the palms, listen to me closely. The palms, they have a uprightness. They stand upright and tall, just like the believer uh, as a palm tree. I want you to look at that palm tree. You will see that foliage and all that stuff, the beauty, the greeny, the greenery of it. Amen. Just like you as a believer, are you highly nutritious or are you toxic? Amen. Arise. Amen. Endure as a palm tree. Amen. So the believer should be sustained by truth and God's principles. Amen. The lessons, one of the lessons I want to share from the, uh, the palm tree is this. Listen, when strong winds come. When that palm tree is there, you never see a palm tree uprooted or destroyed. Although there could be devastation within a land, but those palm trees remaining standing, they remain standing. No matter what season of life we in, what tribulation, what turmoil, what calamity, they remain uh, steady. 
they remain steadfast and upright. Amen. So when strong winds come of life uh, or calamity, the palm trees, uh, trees' roots are not weakened, but strengthened, amen, by the storms. A picture of the believer, you must stand through every storm. Listen, stand through every storm. And, the, and I've done the research, listen, they might be in sometimes of calamity, sometimes of trials and tribulations that we face may bend us over in the spirit. But guess what? Although those winds come just like that palm tree and it may bend over, but it doesn't snap. It doesn't break. Are y'all listening to me? It doesn't split open because the trunk of it is real rough and tough, even if you touch it. But not only that, their foundation of that palm trees goes deep. It goes deep into the ground. As a believer, you must be deep and entrenched uh, in the word of God. Amen. Your foundation and your roots must grow deep so that when the storms come, you grow stronger. Life challenges may knock us over. They may discourage us. Amen. We, But you must have the strength to stand in adversity. And you need to remember that victory that Jesus won for us. Amen. Remember his triumphant entry. Amen. On today. Remember that. Celebrate his triumphant victory and that you're delivered and you're, you're parting from sin. Amen. Amen. Let's go. So listen, resilience comes when we stand through tough times. Uh, a guy said to me, hey, Kevin, you know what? He said, um, Tough people outlast tough times. I want y'all to remember that. Tough people outlast tough times. Amen. So the tough times come so that you will grow. Amen. James chapter one and started at verse two through four. It says to count it all joy when trials come, when, when tribulations happen, when trials come. Count it all joy. Don't let the enemy steal your joy. Find peace and acceptance. Amen. Find peace. Don't be afraid. Amen. Don't be afraid. Amen. James chapter one. Let's read that. I'm going to read that to you. Let's go to James. I'm going to try not to be all over the place, but let's go to James chapter one. James chapter one. And then we're going to look at Isaiah 41 and 10. It says, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Amen. But let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete. Amen. Lacking nothing. So listen, find a peace and acceptance in those tough times. Isaiah 41. Let's look at Isaiah 41 in verse 10. It says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am the Lord your God will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. And behold, all those who were incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. This is in Isaiah 41 and 10 through 13. And shall be as nothing. And those who strive with you shall perish. And you shall seek them and not find them. Those who contended with you, those who war against you shall be as nothing or, or as a non-existent thing. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saving, saying to you, I'm sorry, fear not, I will help you. Amen. Come on, let's go. John 16 and 33 says, look what John 16 all of y'all familiar with this scripture, but many a times we need to declare, we know it, but we need, it needs to be shared with us. Amen. It says these things, John 16, 33, these things I have spoken to you that in me, you may have peace and in the world you will have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. So find a peace. Amen. In every tough time. Every find an acceptance. Remember, every storm, listen to me closely. As some that are listening today, every storm eventually ends. And guess what? Then you have to deal with the devastation, 
the emotional damage. Maybe it's financial problems. Whatever it is that the storm has caused, then you have to deal with it. Find a peace in it. Amen. But every storm must end. I know it comes in it, and usually when a storm is coming, it gets dark first, but every storm must end. Amen. Listen to me closely. Are y'all there? The, the, the believer does not bend or compromise. They always are moving towards heaven. This is this, when those winds start to blow, those winds of life. This is a picture of that palm tree. So listen, also, after going through that process, you become an object of beauty inside and out. Is your character fair? Do you have an excellent spirit? Are, are you admirable? A good report? Unselfish, pure, pure in your motives, considerate, loyal, courageous to the with the father. So listen, the foliage of the palm or the greens, they listen, listen to this. They grow not near the ground where they can be damaged or lost, but high up. And even if that palm tree bends down uh, because the winds are blowing so hard, like in life may may do, guess what? The, the roots are so strong, it's going to bend back up and it grows straight up. Are y'all listening to me? The palm tree can grow up to 40 to 80 feet and it lasts and give nutrients for up to 100 years. Are y'all there? Make the decoration. Make the decoration of yourself. You're going to be as that palm. You're going to stand the testing of tough times. Amen. You, you've triumphed through Christ and there is a celebration. Amen. Listen, the other point, the fiber of the palm, palm tree is so elastic. But listen to this. When it is loaded with weight, it still grows whenever even if it's being hindered, it hindered, just like the believer, even in those times, guess what? You must still grow. Amen. Those times come so that you can grow. Amen. Even though we might be loaded down with weights and loaded down with despair, discouragement, depression, guess what? Arise and grow. Be as that palm tree. Bounce back. Amen. Bounce back. Amen. Break out of every hindrance. Also, the palm tree self cleans and it sheds things. Some of us need to shed some things, some places, some peoples or things that are dead or leaves that are dead. Amen. Shed them. Move on. Some, I know y'all don't want to hear this, but guess what with the palm tree? Let me finish up. Even in those times, you must develop wisdom and resilience. Amen. As I said earlier, the kai, the, the palm trees bears these fruits, a kai berries, dates, coconuts, saw palmetto. Amen. Which is real good for the prostate in men. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. So listen, the palm tree has a fruitfulness. Are y'all with me today? Are you fruitful? It has a fruitfulness to it. Amen. It bears fruit in and out of season. Amen. Or you, so you are expected to bear fruits, fruits of love, peace, joy, long suffering. Just read Galatians 5 24. I grab these things. Uh, practical kindness. Be prayerful. Bring the light to the, the slumbering, the broken, the backslidden. Elevate the fallen and the broken. Comfort the sorrowful. Pray, pray for and encourage the sick. And you must stay, stay connected with Jesus and the fellowship of the believers. Also, the palm tree is able to endure any season. It, although I said earlier that it's rough to touch, but above it, it has fruit at the very top of the tree. Although you may be despised, there may be numerable, uh, numerable afflictions. 
Guess what? You must arise. Remember that a storm doesn't always continue. It has an ending. Amen. What else do I need to say about the palm tree? Okay, and guess what? Yeah, here's the other thing. So listen, although you may be feeling broken, you may be feeling in despair, and a lot of times it's not popular. Are y'all there? And we are struggling. But this is a time, many of us, of celebration. This is a triumphant time in the kingdom. Those palm branches were put out there to celebrate the king. He came in humility, lowness, and meekness. And that's why we celebrate Palm Sunday. It was a celebration of the king, Jesus. What I've said on today would not benefit you if you don't know Jesus. In the pardon of your sins. Those who are listening to me wherever you are. I want you to email us. But first I want you to say this. I want you to repeat this up to me. And those who do know Jesus. Praise God. But there are some that are listening. Or that you may share this with that don't know Jesus. That would need to come to Jesus today. And come and enjoy those benefits. Of being in Christ. Amen. 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 Be steadfast. Be movable, immovable in the work of the Lord. Be persistent. Have a consistency. Amen. Have a consistency. But some need to repeat this step to me. So repeat this step to me. Say, Father God. I ask you today to forgive me. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner and that I'm without you. And if I don't invite you in my heart today, that I could perish. Say, Lord, I don't want to die in this earth and then die again. I ask you to forgive me of every sin and every shortcoming. And I ask you to come into my heart now. Cleanse me with the precious blood. And say, Lord, today, I ask you to receive me into your kingdom. And from this point on, I shall live for you. Thank you for pardoning me and forgive me of my sins. I acknowledge all of them. You know it anyway. And I thank you that I celebrate the triumph of victory through Christ Jesus. Say, today is a day of victory. I triumph today and I come into your kingdom. Thank you for forgiving me and receiving me into your kingdom. And I give you praise for that. And I bless your name. Lord, save, deliver, and make me whole. Say, I confess today that Jesus is Lord. And today I believe and receive you into my heart. Say, Satan is over. I no longer live for you. I live for Christ. That power is now within me. It's regenerated my spirit. Say, it's over. In Jesus' name, Father, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have said that prayer, I want you to email us at info at touchofthemasterhmi.org if you have said that prayer. All right? If you have said that prayer, email us at info at touchofthemasterhmi.org. Now, now you can receive everything I'm going to do today. Amen. I want those that have been uh, feeling discouraged or in despair to receive this prayer. Repeat this after me. Say, Father God, I believe that Jesus is the son of God. He died for me. 
He shed his blood for me. And upon my confession of faith today, I receive the deliverance, the healing, the breakthrough. And I forgive all those who have hurt me, living or dead, in Jesus' name. And I renounce any negative words that have been spoken over me by those in the kingdom or outside of the kingdom. And I judge those words and declare that no longer would they affect me in Jesus name. Now I want you to just relax as I pray in Jesus name, relax. And so father God, in the name of Jesus, I come against spirits of despair, defeatism, oppression, suppression, and some are bent over with afflictions, even sickness. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And I command all infirmity, sickness, or disease, loose the people of God, loose them from mental illness and bondage and witchcraft in the name of Jesus. All witchcraft and divination, I command it to loose you in Jesus' name. And I break hereditary bloodline, and generational curses of occultic involvement in Jesus' name. Say, I renounce the belief that witchcraft is uh, works. It may be real, but it doesn't work. I renounce my belief in it. And Lord, I participated in it. I ask forgiveness and I acknowledge it as sin and say, from this point on, I will no longer be affected by this witchcraft I break the curses in the name of Jesus. Now let them break one by one. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. And I command every demonic spirit to loose them in the name of Jesus. Some have been violated that are listed or oppressed. Some have been violated or abused or raped. I command it to come out of them in the name of Jesus. Loose and let them go. And every hidden attack uh, through depression, anxiety, worry, fear, come out in Jesus' name. And those winds and challenges of life that have bent you over, that have caused compromise, I break it off of you, spirits of compromise, in the name of Jesus. Spirits of unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, or anger, loose them in the name of Jesus. And I declare your freedom today that is promised through Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, you are triumphant today. You are triumphant in the name of Jesus. You should be as a palm tree in the name of Jesus. Arise in the name of Jesus. And I declare that your foundation is deep and that any demonic foundation that has been released, I uproot it. I release a sword dipped in the blood of Jesus to uproot it. And I declare in Jesus' name that the blood shall cover you. The precious blood should cover you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. In Jesus' name, let the blood cover you in the name of Jesus. And I declare in Jesus' name that for we are to God, the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. And to the one we are aroma of death leading to death and the other aroma of leading to life and who is sufficient for these things. I declare that in Jesus name and that you are Christ's epistle in Jesus name. Repent. If you know you haven't been living righteous, you are the righteous. You must live righteous. Holiness is still right. I command in Jesus' name, every spirit, even of the backslider, some who have backslid, I command you, you backsliding spirits, to come out in the name of Jesus. He is married to the backslider in the name of Jesus. And I declare that you triumph in Jesus' name through Christ Jesus. And that victory is yours in Jesus' name. I declare that. I release it over your life and I declare shalom, peace, and blessings over you in the name of Jesus. And if somebody is racked with uh, pain in their body, I command that demonic spirit, pain in the joints, bursitis or bitterness, come on, all the way out of the joints, come out in the name of Jesus. Some have rottenness in the bones. Come on, all the way out from bitterness, resentment, anger. Come on, all the way out in unforgiveness. Come out in the name of Jesus. 
loose and let them go. And I declare that those who do healing be healed in the name of Jesus. Be whole in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be whole in the name of Jesus. And those that are believing God to deliver their family members, I pray for those family members that, that they God will soften their hearts and that the yoke of stubbornness and rebellion is broken off of them in the name of Jesus. And I declare that they will receive Christ in the name of Jesus. So I declare all worry. Some have sons and daughters or family members, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, grandmothers that don't know Jesus. We pray for them on today and that they will receive Christ and enjoy the victory that you enjoy through Christ Jesus and the joy that comes from knowing Jesus in the pardon of their sins. Father, thank you for this great day of Palm Sunday and that all that are listening to today, amen, shall be impacted and their lives shall never be the same. I declare that every demonic yoke and every hindrance, let it be broken off of you in the name of Jesus. And some are struggling with compulsive behaviors, eating disorders, use of nicotine and alcohol. I command in Jesus' name, every demonic spirit, Come out, those body-eating spirits associated with alcohol and alcoholism. I command it to come out, and I declare in Jesus' name that you come to know Jesus in the pardon of your sin. And I curse the desire in Jesus' name, your tongue, and the desire for nicotine. And everything that leads you to that nicotine or alcohol to self-medicate. I command the spirit of sorcery and pharmacia and medication by magic to come out of you, out of the frontal lobe, out of the optical lobe. Come on, out of the mind, out of the thoughts. Come on, all the way out. Come out in the name of Jesus. And all oppression, suppression, depression, go in the name of Jesus. And I declare the mind of Christ. And that the mind is in Christ should be in you. And that your mind should be stayed on Christ. And he keeps you in perfect peace. I declare peace be released unto you. Peace. Shalom. Lord, soak your people in the blood. Soak them in your precious blood. Soak them in your precious blood. From the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Soak them in the blood. Soak your people in your blood. The blood of Jesus. Soak them in that sinless and spotless blood of the lamb. Come on, soak them in the name of Jesus. And I to call forth that peace over you, shalom, and that you shall arise as a palm tree. And Lord, we give you praise for it on today. It's in Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. Remember the books available at touchofthemasterhmi.org, signed copies, or Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, or Target, okay? That's available. If you would like to sow into the ministry today, please go uh, to touchofthemasterhmi.org. We appreciate your seeds. We appreciate your ongoing support. By the grace of God, uh, we're, we're going to relaunch. We're trying to secure a new place. We ask that you join us in prayer concerning that. Amen. So again, thank you all for your time. Thank you for joining me today. God bless all of you. Be encouraged. And remember, you must arise. A storm doesn't last forever. Your breakthrough is today. I declare it and release it over you. Your breakthrough is now. Your breakthrough is now. And even if you've been bent over or afflicted and you feel like the winds of life have blown you over, arise and stand firm. Stand straight up. Amen. Endure. Amen. Because perseverance creates... Uh, Character. Amen. You must persevere and endure and build character. Amen. One of the things that many lack in the body of Christ. That's a whole nother story. Amen. Whole nother teaching. So anyway, God bless all of you. And thank you so much for joining me on today. Please share this as you are coming on those in the replay. God bless you. Please be blessed by the teaching. God bless all of you. Have a good week.